What up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with another comic review. So we've got uh, Red Hood Outlaw, number 39. And uh, this is another great issue. Certain things are getting put into place. And like uh, the Teen Titans, J Jason's new, uh, new uh, school of gifted villains is becoming quite sentimental to me. It's starting to grow on me. But let's get to it. So, in the last issue, we see these guys, you know, they recently went to a lab. They found, like, a guy who was from part of this uh, failed doomsday project. And now they find that these guys, they're a monster crew. They're in monster race. Um, this scientist got a monster arm. You know, this is like some hijinks right here. So, you know, they're about to throw down. Of course, Kyle Dale doing his thing. Kenneth Roquefort. This is said to be his last hurrah concerning Red Hood and the Outlaws at all. And so while the guy was monologuing, Jason, my man, gives him a, uh, a bullet for his, uh, for his trouble. It's like he calls himself Masa, I'm not judging. It's like, it's like, what the, just happened? Or it's like, holy, it's like, did you? He did. He shot Paul. You mean Monster Arm, not very supportive. And that, kids, is why you never deliver your evil master plan speech while comparative good guy is holding a gun. Am I being too didactic? <laughs> so... That's nice. So we got his um his crew right here, Cloud Nine, uh, Devour, DNA, and Babe in Arms and her zombie mom. So this is actually a pretty nice team. I think that they'll be molded for good. So Cloud is really digging the teach, saying that that's hardcore teach. Like right, it's like we don't know whether to applaud or run for our lives. And it's like it certainly wasn't very supporting. So you know, it's time to fight. So everybody starts to throw down. So, um, they're about to, uh, this dude's ready to throw down, this guy's ready to throw down, monster, uh, this, uh, doomsday guy, I forgot his name, it'll get back to it, but he manages to save it, so, everybody's starting to fight, you know, Cloud Nine's getting to it, everybody's just getting to it, Jason's like, I know it doesn't look like I'm not doing anything, but I'm actually teaching a valuable life on survival, and teamwork. So, Jason's just chilling, letting his wards do the heavy lifting, because, you know, Jason's like, hey man. I'm Jason. I'm the Red Hood. I can do as I please. So, yeah, we get more fighting. We get good ag action. But then uh, Cloud Nine is, you know, taking down the opposition and everything like that. This guy, Monster Arm, is like, okay, we got to retreat and consolidate. And then um, Jason's like, nah, bro. How about you uh, take this boot to the face? And uh, Cloud Nine's going crazy, going a little bit Storm esque. And it's like, all of humanity will fall before me. Say, Mr. Hood. Um, apparently, this morning, the more weather she wields, the more tenuous her grip on humanity is. And he's like, I hope I'm using tenuous right. Try reaching out to her, connecting on an emotional level. Claire, Claire, take my hand, concentrate. You're going to be safe. And indirectly, he's already starting to turn them into heroes, starting to be Bruce. It's like, don't tell me what to do ever. And so he gets lightning bolted for good measure. And that kind of knocks her out of it. It's like, I'm telling you, I've got a knack with this teaching stuff. I love you, Red Hood. It's like, oh my god, Devour, I'm so totally sorry. I wasn't myself until I spent all that energy. Did you get hurt? And did a girl hurt me? Pfft, that was uh, exactly what I thought would happen. So it's like, yeah, I, I'm cool. And we just see um, the whole crew's out. Devour, are you okay? Just a little internal bleeding. It's like, I feel terrible. No, it doesn't mean the same to my people. It's like, don't, know, don't look now, but look, did we win? It's like, um, not from this angle. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And so Monster Arm is still there. It's like, you with his children? You think with all your power? You think I would think? It's like, you you with your power, with all your power, I would think you would understand what we're trying to do here. And here you are allowing this, this human to forge your future. I cannot understand. I will not. And so once again, Monster Arm gets another boot in the face. And uh, it's like, dude, you lost. I'm not telling you again. Let this be a lesson, kids. Don't turn your back on anyone, especially me. So, any suggestions on what to do with Monster Arm? And everybody's like saying, yeah, let's kill him. <laughs> kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Uh, yeah, everybody's just like hyped to kill this guy. The baby's like, I propose a major blood transfusion with the non with a non-monster to see if that counteracts the monster cells within his body. If that doesn't work, kill him. And so Jason's like, I'll be honest. I like the way you kids think. But no way I earn Teacher of the Year if you just go around killing anyone who tries to kill you first. So no killing. It's like, well, that doesn't mean that we can't get creative. So, um... They managed to, I guess, pile them up and blow up their base. And so Jason's like, say, kid, you want in? Worst case, you learn about your powers. So if you want to rule the world someday, you can do a lot better than Monster Army's Posse. And he's like thinking, hmm, man, that's a, 
that's a nice proposal. That's a nice proposition. It's like, why not? So as crazy as it seems, these kids might actually pull this off or not, whatever. And so uh, Cloud9, who's trying to be like, you know, the new teacher's pet, why not? It's like, who you calling? You calling Lex Luthor? Tell him how great we're doing, me in particular. Pretty sure I'm his favorite right now. We still have a, it's like we still have to get home, right? And meanwhile, he gets a little, um, he gets a little message from um, Dr. Shea Veritas, smartest woman in the world, more specifically the center of these kids' world that she's hosting Generation Outlaw. So apparently her base is, the base is under attack. I mean, compromised. So our secret headquarters has been compromised. Where are we supposed to go now? Is that a real question? So meanwhile, let me get back to the original Outlaws and Ma Gunn. Um, has been released. Happily say, are you okay, white hair? It's like, I doubt it, but I don't even know until a moment ago I was trapped in here. It's like, humans are so dramatic. Why are we worried about? And so, Pup Pup is sentient, if you want to know. And I like this, like saying, Bizarro Superman clone, of course, the usual Amazon owns him. It's only for higher fame, Margot Evil Headmistress, of course, and finally Pup Pup, the plushie who became a real boy, apparently. Pinocchio syndrome. Anyway, um, Bizarre basically freaked out, grabbed him. And so um, Artemis is asking the question, how are you sentient? And he's like saying, as near as I can figure out, I was about to go down with the ship. And then um, Cherizaro kind of, you know, imprinted to me um, some type of sentience. And whammo, I am now sentient. Can you tell us how Ma got, got trapped in the bottle? Don't look at... Say, like, did you feel that? And so, nope. Nothing, fine, where was I? It's like, holy, you have to feel that. It's like, the building bazaar made it, it's dying. But we're not dying with it, we're returning. So, we see that, uh, we see that, uh, basically, they've landed in Mexico. It's like, which is funny enough, this is where, um, Red Hood was last seen a couple, a few issues ago, where, um, he was he managed to break up Bunker and then uh he was with um gosh, why am I forgetting the dude's name who was like a first major villain of the whole thing. But um the dude who had like multiple personalities. Somebody remind me in the comments. But um yeah, she'd been here before and she's remembering her greatest mistake, and of course even Jason recognized that she was there before. Hey, can you be sure this am our world, not another one? It's like, yes, I'm certain. It's like me and we say like, we are both home. We're long. We're they're pretty much home, and just like everywhere else, we see the doom signal appear, and you know everybody's saying it's doom. So that's that. So this was um, fantastic. Um, I enjoyed it. I really liked it. It's good that the old team is getting back together again. Pretty much by next issue, by what I saw in the solicitations, by issue forty. The outlaws will have been reunited, and I would hope certain things go a certain way, but I can only hope. But I still think this is a great issue. I'll give this 9 out of 10. So thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to get good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to have more videos up when I can. Peace.